Testing one, two, three. Get that HTML5. Sorry, I just lost the chat, guys. Switching back and forth. I think I might have figured out a new thing in the equation to the HTML5 mystery. Literally, if you said something in chat 30 seconds ago, say it again, because I, I don't see it now. So, uh, testing one, two, three, give me a quick sound check, guys. How's my voice sound to the music ratio? Am I sounding all right? So here's what I figured out today. If you have, in your... Google Chrome settings, if you have, in your advanced settings, if you have, um, like, I think it's called, like, system-aided performance or some shit like that, where, like, basically your GPU will help performance on the browser. If you have that enabled, it does all sorts of weird things in your browser. So I turned that off today to make some things work with OBS better, and now it's like the colors are better not on HTML5. You at work, my man player, Jiffication, good old Jesse. Got some people checking in, some old schoolers. Apophis, 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 I think you were asking me about 4XL shirts. We got them. They're down there now. Yo, dogs are on. Also opened up the floodgates to six more 30k loot crates because we're down to one death mask, and uh, the death mask is death watch themed specifically. So I changed it. If you go to Revelo and check it out, you'll see we have more shit. We're getting to the end of the month and we're running out of things, so I opened it up. Mitch Greer, what's up, player? For you guys, I'll probably repeat myself several times during the show, but we're gonna we're doing show and tell differently now. Now we've we've integrated with Slowfuse uh, Gaming.com for the so we can have one community page, and you'll see that down there in the information panels, in the community gallery. So we're just gonna do uh, uploads there, and we'll sh and so that way all of the uh, community stuff between the two of our channels is in one place, so we don't have to like split the community anyway. BC Markers told me to check my mail. Let me see what we got. Let's see what, let's see what, let's see what it do. Oh, shit. What you doing? <laughs> what you doing? What you doing? Stop touching yourself. There's people <laughs> here. Good old Slow Fuse Gaming in the house. Sounds There's like Gen 2. There's people here. You don't do that in public, my friend. This doesn't count as public. <laughs> it's the internet. It doesn't count as public. This is, They're not really here. This is highly private. There's no way this could be seen. <laughs> not really here. <laughs> it's highly public. I know, Deb. Deb was. We just did our first channel auction, and literally, one of our viewers, Death by Donut, was winning the auction for ninety percent of the length of the auction until Killy Time Painting came in and sniped him in the last five minutes of the auction for the for the Infinity set for the Infinity Operation Red Veil set. Yep. Oh, that's so baller. We got to our giveaway <laughs> and started the auction up and literally LT and Death by Donut wrestled back and forth and then Death by Donut ran off into the sunset, thought he had it the whole time and Killing Time comes in at God. the very last minute and says, nope. Killing Time, <laughs> Killing time Pain is a dick. I would say, I would say dick is a descriptive word that, that might work here, but we love him. He's, He's always, love him. he stole, he stole my painting set on a, on a coin flip. <laughs> right? The last, oh, you know what I'm saying? 
Oh, right. Killing Time Painting is also the one who's responsible for the channel's first and only so far <laughs> coin flip, right, for a raffle right. winner. Only, and only that, cheaters call our tales. Our own beloved <laughs> next level painting lost to Killing Time Painting because of a coin flip. And he bullied, Killing Time was able to bully everybody else out of the Army Painter starter set, the, the big, like, you know, $75 Army Painter starter set that has all the brushes, the cutting mat, the clippers, the files, the paints, the whole nine. And Killing Time convinced everybody in chat they didn't need it. Like, literally, in his Tony, best Tony Packard donuts voice, he's like, wait, you don't really want to enter that rap, do you? Like I'm saying, my, my, original, my original stance, Killing Time painting is an absolute dick. Hey, man, there's something wrong. Everybody's worried about Mappus. I would be worried about KTP. He does this it on set. purpose. Like, only <laughs> cheaters call Tails because everyone knows Tails never fails. So, like, I was trying to I, I was trying, to, I was trying to, be a good sport. I was like, heads all day, homie, because, like, that's the way I am. If he would call heads and be like, well, then we got to do a coin flip to see who has to get Tails, then that would be fair. <laughs> but, you know, he just was like, Tails, dog. Like, I'm a cheater. That's how he, that's oh, how, that's that's how he rolls. Funny. That's funny. LT Killing Time Painting came in and sniped the uh, the the red veil away from Death by Dawn. Not really sniped because he did it over five minutes. We don't allow sniping, here. <laughs> so we have an anti-snipe timer on the whole option that keeps extending it for a, a minute every time that that happens. But, so everyone has sixty seconds to re-snipe. Yeah, Yo. everybody's got a, the, yeah, he's got like a minute to go back in and, and up your bid. Nobody can come in in two seconds and put it in there and then win the auction. So. I like the anti-snipe protection. Yo, so check it out. Today is the first time I'm going to be running Excellent. the Slow Fuse Gaming Community uh, Gallery. Yes. And I, I was, big news. It is big news. And I was um, just talking to everyone about it in the stream just a minute ago. So basically, we are integrating Next Level Painting and Slow Fuse uh, uh, Gaming uh, channels to one community page. So that way, yes. it's there's no split, there's no rift. All the photos, everyone's everyone's submissions, they go to one place now. They can be admired for as long as those pictures exist on the internet, and as long as they get approved and they meet the terms of agreements that we have set in place, like no dick pics, um, <laughs> they will be there. And now that means we're t like Slow Fuse Gaming runs an upvote competition. So you're going to want to definitely check out Slow Fuse because if you're submitting to the gallery and you're getting your stuff seen in multiple places, you're definitely going to want to be also tuning into Slow Fuse to be a part of these upvote giveaways. Whoever has the most, you know, thumbs up on their picture, they win some. Yep. And we run that Wednesday to Wednesday. So tomorrow is Whip Wednesday. You can always remember it just by the catchy name, Whip Wednesday. <laughs> Whip it good. Whip it. And uh, remember the Space Marines with the Devo hats. That's how you find <laughs> <laughs> and uh, every Wednesday we, we refresh, uh, we move last week's pictures off to the archive where you can still go back and see all of the last, uh, all the pictures that have ever been posted up there. We're on week three, we're ending week three and we'll be starting week four tomorrow. So it's an awesome time. Uh, get in on the ground floor of this, post all your work in progress, terrain, conversions, painting, whatever you're doing in the hobby to keep it alive and keep it growing. Post that stuff up there. Uh, I think this week's uh, current pack leader is a guy that's been out of the hobby for 10 years and came back in and joined our stream last week after not having been on any of these streams and was like, I've been away from the hobby. You guys have got me painting again. Can I put up the miniature that I'm working on? He put it up there and posted up there, first miniature in 10 years, and he's leading the pack. Not necessarily, I mean, his miniature looks great, but don't be afraid to post your stuff up there because people in this hobby are so supportive. There's no thumbs down and there's no comment section on any of these pictures. So it's a complete safe zone for everybody to come play. And Wednesday to Wednesday, tomorrow. Trust me, I know this. Yeah. Here's <laughs> your first miniature, by the way, Kenny. Uh oh, something this? just happened. Did you see this? I'm getting blown up. You're getting blown up. Getting blown up by 1473 with a subscription, John Cena style, of course. Nice. So, Jen, Jen, you're amazing at painting. <laughs> She's like painted better than I do, and then her first mini. Everybody on my stream is already ready to fire me. But anyway, uh, <laughs> on Wednesday, we select people who get the most upvotes on the channel uh, in the user gallery there, and you get some free in-channel currency that you can use to do things like win auctions for Operation Red Veil from Infinity that we just did today. So definitely be there. Definitely contribute on Kenny's channel, uh, and then come check us out every Wednesday to make sure that uh, you may not have some extra winnings in your pocket. So that's good stuff. I'm really excited about this. I'm logged in. I got. I, I'm. I'm a part of this uh, community gallery now. Uh, do I have to refresh it every so often, or is it just update live? You have. You as an admin have to refresh it every so often to see what else is new up there. 
and approve or, or get rid of it. Just make sure that everybody's putting their Twitch uh, handle on there as they're entering in the details. So, so type a title for the under picture, comments sure or whatever the the yep. one text field. Okay, that's a good rule. I'll make sure to mention that. So that way you get honored for your submission. Yeah, because otherwise you might get the most votes and we won't know who to give the prize to. So there's not a name field. So they have to put their name in the description. Yep, just in the description. Absolutely, got it. Um, we're about yeah, we're, 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 we're almost right time. Now. Yeah, we are. <laughs> it's almost time to get Swifty with a super crossover. <laughs> yep. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna stick out of here and chat with you for a minute, and we are gonna close it down, guys. Thank you so much for joining us over here. Make sure to thank head over to you. Next Level Painting. Uh, Kenny, the way it works is that I'm gonna host him, but don't stay here on my channel. Make sure you go to his channel so that you can participate in the chat. I'm gonna run over there. Jen's gonna run over there. We're gonna say hi, hang out for a while, uh, and you're gonna have your enjoyment of the hobby increase by tenfold throughout the night as we go on and on and on. So make sure to head over to Next Level Painting, and we will see you over there in just a minute. Thank you so much to all the viewers, all the new Hi, followers, everybody. all the new subscribers for us today. It's been a wonderful Tuesday. Congrats to Killing Time Painting on the Infinity Red Veil box yeah. set. And we will see everybody over at Next Level Painting. Mm. All right, guys. We're getting in. You going in? It's time to shut down Rev... Uh, Mr. Um, what is it called? Discord, so it doesn't lag out the uh, stream. We're here, guys. We've done it. I don't know what to do with my hands. Yo, dog, Katie Boucher here, Next Level Painting. Hitting you up on quickly becoming the second best day of the week. Maybe first day, depending on how you look at it. Because it's Tuesday giveaways. We're raffling off Chaos Space Marines. I'll show you what those look like in just one second. Um... We got a lot of things going on today. As you heard, Slow Fuse Gaming in the house, doing what he do. Um, we've got a new community support page, guys. I want you guys all to realize during the show and tell today and forever in the future, we have, we're trying to bring the community together with one community support page between the two of us uh, as we do our bromance twice a week. You'll see in the information panels below the window, you'll see community gallery. You click on it. You go to the page. And don't wait till show and tell. Literally just start uploading pictures there as, you know, during the show. And then when we go to a show and tell section, I'll prove pictures and I'll show them off. Make sure to use the comment window there to put your Twitch handle in there so we can give you honor. Additionally, on Wednesdays, Slow Fuse Gaming does a, like, upvote giveaway. Guy with the most, like, thumbs up, they're going to win something. So you're definitely going to want to be as active on the community page as possible. Hmm. I think Where's Phobo says that Tuesday giveaways is the best day. D. Cradiesberg, what's up, player? Stevie, mm, old schooler, checking in. We got M, Electric Eve. I saw her check in. You guys are going to want to check her out. She's a brush licker on our stream team. Also, 1473, thank you for the subscription, my brother. Totally love you, homie. Let's talk about something important. The... Pre-sales. As you can see up there, we are 28 of 40 t-shirts sold in the pre-sale category. It is getting close, guys. We're more than halfway there. As soon as we hit that number, I'll give it like, you know, five days and then we'll shut it down. We'll order and we'll ship. We got a lot of shirts to order right now as it stands. If anyone's new to the stream, here's the shirt. Always keep the tip clean. We ship anywhere in the world, free uh, $4.99 shipping. You'll see it in the information panels below. If you're interested in the shirt, you look for your size, click it, do what you do. I'll handle the rest. If you're not interested in the shirt, that is totally also fine. Does not literally impact our channel in any way outside of the fact that you want this shirt because you always want to keep the tip clean. Spider, thanks for the follow, brother. Always keep it icy. Okay, guys, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Want to make sure my Twitch alerts are going off. Did we get hosted by Slow Fuse already? I didn't see that happen. Let me know. How do I tell? God damn it. I feel like a couple things weren't working today. Let me know. Slow fuse, did you hear me? Did you did you host me already? How come I did not see that come through? Mm -hmm. 
Ryder49, we have one more episode this month. Uh, that's a good question, homie. I remember to turn this on. So, guys, this is the giveaway. Tuesday giveaway. At some point during the show, we are going to raffle this off with a keyword raffle. 100% free to you guys to enter. 10. Chaos Space Marines on the sprue. Yo, you ain't going to want to miss that. At some point during the show, this is going to trigger. I'm going to let you guys know. You have two minutes to get in the raffle. Yo, literally 100% free to you guys. This is the month of chaos. Which brings me to this. We are absolutely going to finish this Excellent. Marine today. Chris99, thank you for the follow. Dro Gamer, thank you for the follow, brother. Truly appreciate it. Always keep it icy. Feel like, just want to make sure I'm getting, I'm kind of, kind of worried about alerts. I'm looking for slow. You guys aren't seeing the host. Are you not seeing any alerts on my? Let me know, guys. Are you seeing any alerts come through on my uh, on your end? Or am I just seeing them for some reason? That's crazy. That's impossible. You're seeing the follows, right? Let me do a quick test alert real quick. Let me know if you guys see this. I'm just going to do a quick test because I do not want to go through the stream and have people not being honored for the cool things that they do. We're going to do a quick test host alert. Definitely working. Uh, for some reason, it didn't trigger this time. For some, for some reason, that's a little ups that's mildly upsetting to me. Uh, data entity. The keyword is has not been stated yet. It has not been stated yet, brother. Uh, it'll happen at some point during the show. That's the gimmick. You don't know when I'm gonna say the keyword. And then it will trigger, and you'll have two minutes to do it. It'll be very clear when it happens. We have one more stream this month, guys. The 30th, the last day of the month, is the last stream. This is nine stream month. This is this is unusual. For some reason, the host didn't pop up. Maybe I was in between scenes. I don't know. That's weird. Killing time. Throw me a host real quick so we can test it. Help me. Rhinoxorus, what's up, player? Rhinoxorus, you're going to have to watch the VOD of this model and to see those blues. John C. Mm. That's Twilight for Twilight Forge, an old schooler. Just donated $20 to the stream, brother. I truly appreciate it, man. And I love you, dog. Earning yourself some yo dogs. Okay, so we do have a video for you guys today. I'm going to I'm gonna do a quick six-minute video on how we got to this step. If you don't know how we got the blues down, you're going to have to watch last week's episode. It's on YouTube right now. It's on Patreon right now, and it's also here. Uh, if you want a totally ad-free experience, that's Patreon. But literally, it's 100% free on YouTube and here on Twitter. Okay, without further ado, we'll get back into it here in a second, guys. But I want to get to this video. I'm going to pull out ancient Chinese uh, tablet for the, for the Q&A. And then we're going to get this. And also, show my man some love, please, while I get this set up. But I'm going to get today's class queued up. And we are going to do this thing. Let's get, let's get the right music. Mm. That's the sound. So last week, we did all the blues. We did all the washes. And since that day, I have done a couple of things to this model. So we did the yellows on this cape. And as I mentioned last uh, episode, we washed it kind of prematurely. We didn't give it enough time to wash. So we kind of peeled some of the paint up in kind of weird ways. So what we're doing here, it's kind of hard to see. But what we're doing here is we have the airbrush out and we're reestablishing some of those yellows. Um, we're using some Vallejo Moon Yellow. I think we're also using... Um, I think it's called Heartfire from uh, Privateer Press. We're just rebuilding some of the yellows, kind of repairing some of the damage we did from the premature wash. Um, 
Th this just in, apparently hosting is broken for some reason, like the hosting trick, the trip. Probably on Twitch's end, because the other alerts are working. I apologize for that. So we're rebuilding the yellow very subtly. And this is, uh, is kind of hard, because we already washed it, so it's hard for the paint to go over all that wash. But we did it. We did it slowly. And then we're going to take the wash back out, the GW Gloss wash. We're using the Reichlin Earthshade. And we're now going to just very controlled rebuild the wash in these crevices and in these folds of this cape. We're just going to do a continuation of the heavy wash that we did last week. We also gloss coated this uh, like I wanted to, but I didn't have time on the stream last week. So we're kind of like replaying it here. Lauren, thanks for stopping by. I hope to see you again here. Killing Tom Payton, I'm sorry that we didn't get honored for your host, but Killing Tom Payton came in with the host, and so did Slow Fuse Gaming, of course. So, this is an easy process. It's, you know, just a classic controlled wash. And now, here's what you guys have been waiting for. Here's the blue we did from last week. It's too many blues to list here, but I still have the color swatch laying around here somewhere. I could reshow it. What we're doing is we're taking an ancient Chinese mix of metals. We're taking molten bronze from P3 and we're mixing it with new gold from Reaper. And what that does is that yellows up that bronze and that bronze has good stick, but new gold has bad stick. So we're gonna go on for a light coat and we're gonna literally painstakingly apply this mix to every stupid Baroque ash piece of trim on this dumbass Chaos Marine. Don't worry, you're not gonna have to watch it in real time. It will accelerate here on the edited video. Uh, Kaluthar, Kalakstar. Thank you for the follow. Always keep it icy. And you can see, we're laying it down. And this is a real thin coat. Once you get all this down with this nice thin coat with that mix of bronze and new gold, you're going to have to go back and do it again with a little bit more new gold to yellow it up. Reaper new gold is the yellowest gold there is. And you can see, now we're kind of bringing that yellow gold back into it and just truly popping that gold out, giving you that real... You know, Thousand Suns look where it's the yellow and the blues. It is a righteous color combination. It's something that I've been doing for years. Um, I'm glad to have brought it here to Twitch for you guys. Kong Breaker, I'm glad you were able to catch up on that VOD, homie. So now it's time to lay down some of the other details. Now that we're done with all the golds, we got to come in there and pick out some of these uh, silvers. And I think we're going to switch up to uh, Vallejo Black Metal. And we're going to lay it out because I want it to be nice and dark. And we're going to lay down some black metal. So always start um, by just just slathering it on. Like I don't, I don't paint by numbers until I have to paint by numbers. We painted the trim by numbers. But if we're going to paint this combi bolter and we're going to add details in later, I'm not going to paint it by numbers yet. I'm just going to paint the whole thing metal. I'm going to dry brush the whole thing. Then I'm going to paint in any extra details like that hose, etc, etc, afterwards. So this is a very watered down uh, black metal, but you see how much stick you get, even though it's so, it's watered down so much, it's so thin, but it still sticks. These, that's an air color from Vallejo, that they're just amazing. Iron Headed, World's Greatest Mod. Yo, check it out. Look how good the teeth of this uh, chain fist look with that black metal. Cad Cal, appreciate it, brother. And we're even going to hit some of those bigger nuts. And we're going to come in, paint that little control pack, whatever that fucking thing is. Air vent, heat vent. Um, now we're going to have to paint um, some greens in there because I don't paint Thousand Suns without a little bit of green. So this pipe is going to be green. Now, I'm not... While I'm not truly worried about getting the green on the blue, I'm not actively, you know, this is kind of, I'm sort of painting by numbers there, but there's almost no reason to get it on the blue. And the only reason I'm painting by numbers here is because I don't want to have to wait for that green to dry to come back in and cut the black metal back in. And I didn't want to have to paint the green over black metal because it'd be weird looking. So lay down some green. This is Iosa Green, Privateer Press. Always paint them nuts. Iron headed. Looking good. Iowa and Green is one 
half of the greatest green color combo on earth? Ooh! Ty Winnett just redeemed a gift bag. And his name is John C. That's my man right there, guys. All day, homie. Show that man some love. We still got plenty of gift bags left, guys. Now we're coming in with some, as M would say, a bat in black. That's so hard for him to say. And we're using it to paint the uh, rubber uh, connections between his armor plates. Most of this is going to be completely covered up by his um, cape, so it's almost meaningless. But in case you were an asshole and you picked up my model and like stared there in between the cape, like now you can see it. We're going to use some Vallejo Earth to paint this uh, bag of whatever of, of goodies that's hanging off the spike. I can only imagine what's in a sack that he hangs off his trophy, trophy rack. I mean, you know what it looks like, right? <laughs> so we're going to just paint it brown real quick. Um, and then we're going to flip over and paint the skull the same color, base color. Easy mode, easy mode. There it is. A little sack. Sack of goodies. Oh, Abaddon black on the cape. I forgot. We're painting all that bullshit black. Um, because brown's too close to the yellow. And I want extreme contrast at all times. Twilight Forge. That's what I'm thinking. Rocky Mountain Oysters. Slow Fuse Gaming knows what's in that sack. It's a sack of sacks. The sack of holding. So, you know, as you come in close to the yellow, water down that um, Abaddon black. Don't get it on the yellow. You are painting by numbers now. It is imperative that you do not get any of this black on this yellow. Come in, paint those stupid little furs. Synapse, I am not a scientist, homie. I mean, I might be a sack scientist. I might admit that. Coming in hot. Sorry, this part's this is dragging out. I should have edited this down. <laughs> Isn't it annoying to watch it all happen? Hard beat. Oh, that's such a good word. So we glued his cape on and you can see the inner cape is purple. The outer cape is yellow. Everything is blocked in and ready for washes and final detailing. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to come in and just bang it out. Make it look its best. And you know we're going to give this model away in a top donator giveaway next month. Someone's going to win this guy. We also have to name him. No doubt. All right, guys. I think that's it for the video. Today's class is over. There he is. Looking his best. Looking his best. Let me get the Q&A chat window. Ancient Chinese window in position in a place where I can see it goddamn tablet pisses me off beyond all belief there it is all right let's 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 take a look at it guys let's take a look at it let's get the focus ready so there's that blue and let me see if I can spot that color swatch laying around here still I don't think that's something I would throw away but you know I throw a lot of bullshit away do I not do I not have it it may be gone or is it in the back of this found it so here's the color swatch from last week this is all the blues this top layer of blues this is how we did it that's um, Prussian blue uh, Signar blue highlight this is uh, Signar Blue Highlight with green, blue green and blue green with white. That's how we banged it all out. We did a quick wash with the with a Vallejo Blue Wash. And then um, here's that color I was telling you guys about. Reaper New Gold. But we mixed Reaper New Gold with uh, P3 Molten Bronze. This is such a good gold right here. I mean, like, whatever. Bronze is dark gold. And he's ready to get washed. And we're going to highlight him up and make him look his absolute best. This is, in my opinion, the Lord everyone should be running in their new Chaos Warband from the new Trader's Hate Supplement. This is a Chaos Lord. Kami Melta, Chain Fist, Terminator Armor, Marcusine. She's only like 167 points. He's three up and vulnerable. He gets to roll twice in the boon chart every turn. 
He'll be joined to a termicide unit, 112 point unit of terminators with melted guns. And they will drop pod in the back, or just deep strike in, blow something up with four melted guns, and be dicks to deal with in the backfield. Love this guy, he is needed. Here's his base. We're also going to work on his base. And also, I'm going to use this base to show off possibly crushed glass snow tutorial for you guys. Give him a little bit of snow dri dripping off of this shit. I'll let you guys decide. Look at Iron Headed. Oh, tiny dog alert. The dog is going crazy. Probably a mailman. I would say it's probably a stereotypical mailman alert. Iron Headed. I don't paint things dirty, bro. I don't know what to tell you, man. It's not how I do. Dog going crazy. Um, Player J, nice biceps. Dog. I, can't, I don't know what to tell you, man. I paint a lot. <laughs> All right, let me jump in this Q&A. All right. Let me take a look at the big screen. Yeah, you got to drink every time you hear a tiny dog. Logically unfit. That rock, literally, this rock comes with the Chaos Lord. This is literally comes with this kit. This is an amazing Lord kit. Comes with a lot of conversion options. We use the Sorcerer ahead to make him look Thousand Suns. Uh, and it comes with this rock. He's actually designed to stand on this rock with a foot here and a foot here. That's actually his pose. He's, he's coming up. So if you don't use the rock, he actually looks weird if you see him right now. It's not the right pose for him. He actually is looking up on that front foot. James. Well, you can paint as dirty as you want, homie. That is not how we do here. Up. Oh, slack zombie. And his name is John Woody message. $5 donation. Slack zombie earning himself 100 yo dogs. Show that man some love. Hype him up. Also, real quick, guys. We have expanded. Kellen Dari. Thank you for the follow, brother. We've expanded the Yo Dogs. We came down to our last swag crate, and I opened it up to six more crates. So we have a total of seven swag crates still available. I won't sleep on you guys. I won't let you guys not have Yo Dogs to redeem. We've got one more stream this month to get Yo Dogs. So you can get like a, all these new Yo Dogs today and on the 30th. And today, before we start painting, one last time, we're giving away 10 Chaos Space Marines on the sprue. Full-blown squad. 100% free. Keyword raffle today, guys. This is 100%. This is happening. Oh, my, my, my man Vincent in the stream tonight. What's up, Vince? James, do what I can, brother. Do what I can. <laughs> Regard. Uh, R. Dilgar. Thanks, brother. Twilight Fords. Appreciate it. Slow Fuse game, and I do what I can, homie. The world, the world famous Slow Fuse. Okay. Now let's get this guy. Let's get this guy on deck. Let's get it. Let's get it worked out. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. Wazario Elemental, um, Elementaro. You'll see the Yo Dog bot reminds you, but if you scroll down in the info panels, there's a link called Community Gallery. It is actually slowfuse.com. You can just type that into your browser, go to slowfuse.com, and go to the community update there. But there is a very easy to use link here on our page as well. Uh, Flippa for real, the the gift bag is going to come with promotional items like bases from Elric's Hobbies, bases from Secret Weapon Miniatures, objective markers. Ooh, let me show you guys real quick. I forgot to show you this. So here is a preview of the gift bag objective markers from Battle Cap Markers. Let me get this um, real quick. Let me show you. I just downloaded it. These are already made these are <laughs> silly objective markers for the gift bag but we will have some more pro next level painted theme uh, markers coming out soon but these will be coming some of these will be coming in gift bags right here 
using our stream icons, all sorts of silly stuff. Um, we've even got secret weapon new acrylic paints, which I'll show you possibly today on the stream, and bases and more. The gift bag is a pretty good promotional item. Okay, let's do it for real, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out some known oil, guys. We're going to use an ancient, ancient Chinese technique. Water bottle lid. We're going to shake this. This is the gloss wash right here, guys. Known oil gloss. We're going to pour some out in here. Devil man, what's up, player? What's up, man? Okay, let me find a paintbrush. I want one that's got some detail to it, because I don't want to. I want to control this wash best I can. There we go. Get. We gotta get in the cradle. Okay, I got chat on deck. I can see everything, and now we can start. Don't forget, guys, we will be giving away some models today. And also, let's name this guy. Think about a name for this guy. Okay. And remember to use that next level painting to get my attention. So this is the non-oil gloss. I'm using a detail brush here because I, I want to really control this. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this wash and I'm going to let it get around the edges. Just a little bit. To help create contrast. Just to help darken it up in that spot. These, ca these spikes are just kind of a bitch. You really do have to take your time on them. Get that wash exactly the way you want. It's a hell of a lot better than the alternative, I'll tell you that. See, we're painting a little border around them. We're, we're going to go on a little heavier up here. We're gonna let that ride up there, and then we're gonna drag it down into some of these nuts and bolts. Help create a little bit of definition. And I love the gloss wash for this. It really helps preserve the color. It doesn't do a lot of that staining that other washes do. Got to make sure to wick some of that um, wash out of there, though. We got some buildup. So I'm going to pull out another brush. That brush might not be right. This brush might work. We're going to suck some of this out. There we go. Wick it out. Oh, Apophis UK. What's up, player? Show that man some love. Got himself a gift bag. Same deal. So let's just make like make sure you've got enough wash on these nuts to give them the look we want. And don't let wash build up in these cracks too much. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Same thing. Let's go to the, let's go to the cock right here, the cock plate. Let's put it on a little bit heavier right here. And 
And the only, like I said, the only disadvantage is this wash will dry shiny. I just got to mat it back down. We're going to put some on the black metal as well. Let's put some right here on this uh, leg plate, whatever this is. It's frame. Want it? I like to make little borders with it. Right there. It's kind of annoying on a model like this. I, I will be straight up with you. <laughs> Chaos Marines are a nightmare. It's so funny that they basically suck like the actual Marines. Until the new Warband came out, there was no reason to play Marines. The Chaos Marine. And then they're on top of it, they're hard to paint. Iron Headed. Do I find that no one oil spoils the Reaper Gold? Fuck no, man. No one oil. Like, I don't use... I don't use brown wash. I only... I don't... Not for gold. Like, I, I've always used black wash for gold. I like... Because it makes it antique. It's like jewelry with an antique finish. And I never just wash something and let it sit there. We're going to wash it, and then we're going to come back and highlight the gold. And bring the peaks out to the maximum level. Like I know a lot of people like brown to go wash gold with brown. I'm just not one of those people. There's not enough contrast for me. All right. So now we just did that leg, and you can see instantaneously, you can see the face. Let's focus over here on this piece. It's, it's a little bit easier down here, and you see we're creating that border. I have to create a little separation. It's hard for him to paint that close to the camera. Excellent! Snakes hugs, man. Thanks for the follow. Same deal, bring it around. Make sure it builds up in the appropriate areas. And you have you have time to manipulate it, as you can see. You do have time. And now focus on the bottom greaves right here. Give yourself that border. Right there. JDA got it himself a gift bag. One four seven three. Yeah, I think uh, Ironhead had just answered you. We actually have a tutorial on the Puppet Wars, <laughs> a YouTube video on how to paint them. I think it's on the homepage. It's one of our more popular videos on YouTube. I think it's called "Corn is Secretly Easy," something like that. We're painting the foot. Important detail not to overlook. Let's bring that wash down on the other leg now. There it is. Make sure it goes around these nuts. That's kind of a major focal point for the wash to settle. Major things to focus on, nuts, and getting your border established with that wash. Instantaneously brings so much to the table.
There it is. Way more definition than we once had. I'm going to do a quick spot check. I want more wash on this nut right here. I'm feeling good about that. He's got this, like, hip armor right here. Tripwire became a legend. Show Tripwire some love for becoming a sub. Appreciate it, homie. <laughs> Dumb up. Nuts are a major focal point. So now you can see back around here. Right behind his cape, you can see all that stuff I painted in. I'm not even going to wash that shit. I'm not going to. I don't even care about it. The most I'm going to do is throw a little wash right here Excellent. on the border. But that's it. Like that, you can't. That's fine. So feeling good about that. Now let's get his head done. Let me rinse this, this brush off. Do a quick shout out. Um, Phil Harmonica Zero. Thank you for the follow, brother. Uh, Sierra. Cool name. Thanks for the follow. Kellen Darian. Thank you for the follow, brother. Slack Zombie. Thank you for the $5 donation at Twilight Forge. Appreciate it more than anything, guys. You guys help me keep the lights on. I'm not going to lie about that. All right. Make sure we're in focus. There it is. Shagath. Six flags. What? You doing a fright fest? Corn maze? Yep, corn maze is so OG. I did one last year. All right. So now let's bring some wash down in on this, these spikes. This is the sorcerer head we chose to put on the Lord, but keep it a Lord. Um, just to make it look more Zinchian. Good definition. Sneak it in on that eye right there. There we go. In for game. His name is John C. A girl right there. <laughs> Hype up sin for game 69. She is getting a give bag. She threw five dollars into it, getting herself a hundred yo dogs. That'll update for you shortly, and you'll be able to get your gift bag. All right, let's get this little spike back here with this skull on it. There it is. Getting a lot of definition, man. I'm loving this. Corn maze. <laughs> Ebb and flow. That's hilarious. Viking teabagger. Thousand Sons dude. Got to name Dusty Dan. We got to name him Dusty Dan. I love that name. <laughs> That's so funny. All right. Let's get this known oil on this black metal right here. Darken it up a bit. Stain it a little bit. Give us some more definition all at once. Just like that. Let's give these nuts a little ring. Just like so. Thumb. There we go. Okay, now let's focus on this trim rapid fire. And his name is John C. Death Stroke 52. Must get more yo dogs. Death Stroke 52 with uh Ten dollar donation, Excellent. getting himself two hundred yo dogs. Appreciate it, brother. Let's hype that man up. Thank you for the follow right there, Krabby. I think is what it was. Yep. All right. Love you, homie. 
Get them go dogs. So we're just gonna keep focusing right here. Dragging this wash around. There we go. And it gets a little easier once you get outside of the, the chest area, like once you work in perimeter washing. A little bit less annoying. There we go. It's got this vent right here. Let's throw some known oil love inside of that motherfucker. Make sure to get the border. Keep that blue intact, but keep a nice ring there. There we go. And remember, we already pin washed it with, with a blue wash. And all we're doing is darkening that blue wash up. And so it's still going to be a really dark blue border. So we're going to slide some wash right in here in the cut. Get it on a servos. Get it on this uh, whatever that is. Fucking elbow bolt. <laughs> Mighty Cthulhu checking in. What's up, brother? Special feelings in the house. Things get buried in a hype, homie. When I come back to it, I'll take a look at the chat. Don't worry if I miss what you say here. All right, LT, you're ridiculous. So, I don't mind getting black wash in this green right now. Doesn't bother me. Let's come up to this big. This is the, this is a big selling point on the model. This huge shoulder pad, Terminator shoulder pads. There it is. You see, those are a lot easier to paint. Got to hold it at the right angle to get the, the pin wash border unlocked, though. There we go. Tight. And we only loosely blended these golds together, relying heavily on the wash to do the rest for us. And then when it dries, we'll come back in and we'll highlight the peaks out. Let's get this eye done. Easy. This eye was kind of obnoxious to paint. All the unnecessary spikes. Unless you're a Chaos Marine, in which case they're 100% necessary. There we go. Got that shoulder getting washed and getting that definition. Instantaneously a different model. slide over here let's get the other shoulder pad done real quick here we go get a quick I'm not afraid to put a lot of wash on and just move it around fast Just like that. Ugh. Pimp down. Slide in the other side right here. There we go. Dusty Dan in full effect here. All is dust. Make sure those nuts look their best. There we go. That's a good looking shoulder pad right there. Excellent! Canuck, Canuck Vapor, thanks for the follow, brother. Just throwing some wash over some of these details real quick. Get some in that elbow bolt. Fucking, I don't know. 
Yeah, guys, Slow Fuse Gaming coming through, proving some community gallery stuff, man. I'm really excited about the first show and tell of this episode. Okay, let me upgrade brush size real, just real, just temporarily. Combi Bolter, or Combi Melta, sorry. We're just bringing a nice wash in over this. Nice methodical wash. I am going to dry brush this. That's why I didn't paint that hose yet. This is that Vallejo black metal, man. It's a good color. There it is. This will really look good after a dry brush. We've got these um, spikes up top, which are highly annoying. Like, for the most part, they're obnoxious as fuck. You really don't have to wash every square inch of them if you don't want to. Because they are going to get dry brushed or, or highlighted. Still got to work on that skull today. We're almost done with this stage. And then we'll let the wash dry and come back to it. There we go. Continuation right here. There it is. And we're gonna wash these um the skull in this uh sack of sacks. We're gonna wash those with a brown. Just slide some wash on the inside right here. And the wash just helps helps with the definition a little bit. So we can do a light dry brush on this shit. I might not even do a dry brush. I might just do a, an, a, a, a methodical edge highlight. I'll have to decide here in a minute. All right. We're going to let this dry. You can see, look at how much more definition we just created from that quick wash. He's brilliant. And we're still going to have to edge highlight some of this blue. We got to edge highlight the met the gold still, give it some nice pop. Look at the brilliance of his yellow cape and the purple undertone. This guy's coming out baller. Let me. I want him to sit just like this for the wash drainage. No, maybe not. Might have to set him up. He's gonna sit like this. We're gonna wash off our brushes real quick, guys. Some brush soap. There it is. You don't want that um, gloss medium to dry on your brushes. We're gonna let him dry. We're gonna work on this base at some point during that dry time. And now we're gonna jump into Q&A and we're gonna do some show and tell, guys. So first things first. First things first, I'd be remiss in my duties if I don't promote. Um, T-shirt for sale right now, guys. We're doing the pre-sale. We had 28 sold at the beginning of the show. I'll, I'll do a quick check to see um, where we're actually at right now if, if um, we're closer to our goal. Once we trigger 40, we'll be on a timer and we will um, we'll put them in the mail. Anywhere in the world, homie. I don't care where you live. Yeah, we have sold some more shirts, I think. Yep. So that number is going to is now 30. Let me modify it. 
So we are almost there, man. We are so close. 30 of 40, guys. And then we're going to put the, the first ever Next Level Painting t-shirts in the mail. Okay. Let's see if I can get the um, show and tell page to work. Nope, wrong, wrong one. It should be this one. There it is. Okay. I will go in the chat here once I get the first one loaded. I feel like this is probably the first one. Because I think I saw... No? Who's first? James in Ireland? I know you're in our channel. James from Ireland. Death Guard. There it is. Okay, I'm in the chat now, guys. Let's talk about it. Devilman, use the new community page. At slowfuse.com, there is a link in the panels below. We're changing the way we do show and tell, merging the communities together into one location so it's not all over the fucking world. Definitely check it out. Show and tell in the panels below or Slowfuse Gaming community page. You'll see it. Slowfusegaming.com. All right, let me jump up in here. Mighty Cthulhu, what's up, player? You doing an Archeon? That's crazy, dog. Special feelings. Just thought you would might find this funny, but I'm working on Nurgle Prince in Christmas theme. He's bringing the gift of plague and pestilence. Hell yeah. One second, guys. <clears throat> okay. Um, back to the Q&A. See what's going on. Logically unfit. What's up, player? That That's your submission for the name of the Thousand Suns Marine? Rogar the Skull Cleaver? It's not as good as Dusty Dan. Axlin. Give these nuts a little ring. Like a cock ring for nuts? That's exactly what I meant. Lauren, Kenny, you have helped me stay awake while I created my lesson plans for next week. I love teaching. It's just tedious planning process. I understand. I'm glad I could help. Excellent! Uh, B. Pies Sack. Thanks for the follow, brother. Keep it icy. Sin for Game 69. I don't want to put my new one on Slow Futures page before tomorrow since I already put one up for last week. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are such gamers. Evil Dead just finished. What's up, man? Uh, don't worry about the quality of the photo, guys. Just submit them. Okay, so what we're saying is someone just said this is top down. Isn't the one at the top the most recent one? So I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we're on this one right here. Which, hold on a second. That's Cried Dofer. Right here, guys. Take a look at this terrain. And I'm sorry to hit you guys with this absolute switch over without telling you the stealth community. It is far superior than what we were doing before. And it puts all the photos in one place for a weekly. And this is what, what, this is what she was talking about. Tomorrow on Wednesdays, every week, whoever has the most upvotes in the community gallery gets wins something tomorrow on Slow Fuse's uh, channel. So that's what she was talking about. She didn't want to... Um, she wants to slow roll it so she has more chances to win because we're gamers. 
Um, we're not going to do the links anymore, like how I've been doing them. It's just so tedious. This is what we're doing. Sorry for any inconvenience. Um, but this it's just it's just so much better for the community to have one community page. We have integrated with Slow Fuse Gaming to do this task. So make sure to use slowfuse.com. Use the, use the links. Put your pictures up there, and we will do them there. Oh, did I fuck up? I totally fucked up. <laughs> I can't be clicking around the browser window while I do this. I just learned my lesson. So this is um, Cried Topher. This looks amazing. Let's click back. This is 1473. This is a Chaos Titan, Night Titan. This looks amazing. Let's take a look at the rest of them. Look at this shoulder right here, too. This is crazy. So I've learned that I have to use my tablet to interact chat now when I'm doing this. Okay. Growing pains. Growing pains. Got it. And here's um here's the front. This is amazing. Thirty or forty shirts sold, killing time, dude. We're almost there. LT checking in. What's up, brother? This Night Titan is absolutely amazing. Evil Dead right here, my man. Make sure to put your guys' Twitch handles in that comments box so we know who it is for the competition on Whip Wednesday. These Space Wolves are fucking amazing, my man. Good job, Evil Dead. You're fucking you're killing it, brother. You're killing it. Real quick, guys, don't forget today we are doing a giveaway. At some point during the show, we are giving away 10 Chaos Space Marines. 100% free in a keyword raffle. You're not going to want to miss it. Also, don't forget, we've got one more episode this month. We have a secret stealth ninth episode this month to earn your Yo Dogs. I've opened the swag crate out to include six more 30k themed swag crates for the big ballers with 4,000 Yo Dogs. We have what we have for gift bags. We're going to be giving out paints, bases, Objective markers. We've got objective markers um, right here. These are coming in fresh from Battle Cap markers. We got our stream logos on them. He made these up real quick. These are going to be in the gift bag as well as paints and bases. Evil Dead, you did a great job on these space wolves, homie. Let's take a look at um, Wizaro and Mitaro. Take a look at this Avatar of Kane. I know that's a hard model to paint, brother. It's looking good, man. I love that sword, homie. Yori Kasudan checking in. We can start the show. He's an old schooler. He, you know, fun fact. He was the first guy to pick up a Next Level Painting t-shirt. Of which we have sold 30 of our pre-sales so far. As soon as we trigger, I'll let you guys know that we have a few more days left. And we'll begin the process. And everyone will get their shirts. Orgasmic checking in. Always here for the Yodogs. Let's take a look at Dragon real quick. It's my girl right here. Yo, she doesn't fucking play games with the Necrons. Special feelings, just slowfusegaming.com, brother, in the panels below. All the information is in the panels below the window, guys. Yori, you're going to wear that shirt every time you stream, brother? I'm going to hold you to it, homie. I'm going to hold you to it, brother. Yo, I opened up the swag crates for you, brother. We got six more 30K swag crates, one death mass swag crate, and it's full of Death Watch Marines. I promise. It's got a, It's got some cool shit in it. This Necron came out great. 
Let's go back to the community page. We're still letting our gloss coat dry, guys. We've got a few more submissions in here. Damn, look at look at it fill up. Working on Alariel. Um, I don't know who posted this. Don't put the description of what you're doing in there. Put your Twitch handle in there. Or I don't know who it is. It's looking good, brother. Looking good. Alario is an amazing model. But since I don't know who this is, I'm going to go back to it. Here is Phil Harmonic Zero doing a Karn. A lot of people have been posting their Karns. This is one of the best ones I've seen, brother. It's one of the best ones. It's looking good, my man. All right, let's see what else we got in here, guys. I'm just, I'm just loving this page. Black Legion Terminators. Here's another one. Make sure to use your Twitch handle. These Terminators are fucking amazing. I don't know who posted them. Twitch handle me, guys. From now on, use your handles. These look amazing. Dark Angel Librarian. Yo, literally. What I just say. Major Death Sync. Right here. This is looking fabulous, man. <laughs> Holy shit. Take a look at that work on this. JP Gray, that was your beetle, homie. Looking fresh, brother. Real quick. Let me explain this. Uh, make it easy for everyone one last time. This should be showing up. There we go. Here's our page. Here's our information panels below. That one right in the middle that says show and tell. If you forget what you're supposed to do, click that link. You will go right over to the place that you need to be. Okay. We got an upside down night titan here. Nope. It's right side up. This is baller. Holy shit. Great airbrush work, man. Who is this? Kazar Wolf. Not completely done, but pretty close. This is a great job, man. I really love this model. And his name is John C. Oh. Cheesy Poofs. Getting himself a gift bag, man. Y'all yeah, got 30 gift bags sitting on the shelf, ready to get addresses on them, guys. Devil Man. Those Terminators look fabulous, man. Okay, let's put let's put a pin in the show and tell for a second. Oh no. Is the timer fucked up? Iron headed is is the um deep bot timer messed up? I don't know what's going on. I just saw Yo Dog freak out. Yo dog bot. I oh, don't know, it's there. It's just my tablet is stupid. Oh, you were killing it? Good job, brother. Okay, guys, you guys ready to see something? World premiere? Webcast premiere? While we're letting this shit dry? All right, this is gonna take lift right here. This is the first. This is the front part of our beetle person. We are doing a full-blown YouTube studio tutorial on this. It's utilizing very many of the same blues that our Zinch Lord has. And we have it on this crazy brass rod ladder so that I can paint all around it and really focus down on these blues because this part will be icy. We'll do a lot of the same effects we did on the Tree Lord here. Give it a lot of nice, crazy extreme edge highlighting to make this thing look its absolute best. This is the front part of the beetle. Very blue. 
Let me show you guys the back part of the beetle now. So here is the butt. This is AKA like the beetle wings. So we, there's a lot of purple in there, black, blues, and jade greens, and scurvy greens. This is like that, that um, Egyptian, you know, like shimmering incandescent beetle. And we're gonna come in there and do a shitload of crazy highlights on this too. So it'll be this iridescent beetle here, hard blues with icy highlights in the middle. Of course, all these leaves and shit will be super bright green. And here is the front of the beetle. We're going to paint this. Um, we'll paint his lower jaw back in a different color. But this will come out, tie in the extreme bright greens on the top of the beetle with this crossfade light to dark, dark to light, huge green horn. And of course, we're going to come in here and extremely highlight this too, give it that super shiny look. That is the color scheme. We're going to tie in all the seasons of the trees we just painted into this beetle. Of course, the tablet's dying. And I do want to work on this base. And we got to give this a little bit more time to dry before I varnish it. So while we're doing that, we're going to prime this base. Because I want to show you more than one thing today. So let's get the compressor going, guys. And I will look in the Q&A for one more second. For Gen Z, that model is crazy, right? All right. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What's up, Major Desinc? Desinc. Excellent. Quick roll call, man. Rev, Rev, Doctor Beautiful. Thanks for the follow. Truly appreciate it, brother. Deathstroke52 coming in with the $10 donation, man. I love you, dog. Remember, yo dogs equal, or sorry, donations equal yo dogs. So if you find yourself getting close to the end of the month and you want something that you're only a few minutes, a few dollars away from, that's how you get it. If you don't want to do that, you can dump all your yo dogs into the raffle for the one on one painting class. Next month, we're going to have even more options, though. Sin for Game came in clutch, $5 donation. She's trying to get her bag. Slag Zombie, love you, homie. Twilight Forge, what a beast. While this compressor's charging. Uh, this just in, hot off the press. Slow Fuse Gaming is going to raffle off his gift bag because he has enough for a gift bag. So, Jason redeem for the gift bag so that it takes it out of the queue and then we'll just raffle it off today so someone's gonna win a gift bag today for free without doing anything and his name is John C There it is. And his name is John C. People getting hype, getting all the gift bags all day, every day. Okay, so we've sold a few more shirts already. I think... 
I have to update my spreadsheet here, but I'm doing this in real time. Um, trying to keep. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to keep it fresh. I'm pretty sure we're at 33 right now, guys. Almost done with pre-sales. Let's get the tablet out in a position I can see it. Turn the screen brightness way down so it doesn't just die on us. All right. Getting hyped for gift bags. These are going to be good gift bags. I'm going to show you guys some secret weapon tech here today. And you're going to see how good these new acrylics are. Sharky the villain, thanks for the follow, brother. I always keep it icy, my man. So we're going to do two keyword raffles today, guys. We're going to give away 10 Chaos Space Marines and Slow Fuse Gaming's gift bag. Okay. So we're going to go ancient on this. We're going to use some Slow Fuse Gaming techniques right now. If I can track it down. Need to try. There it is. Here's some of that styrene surface primer right here from Badger. We're gonna prime this base real quick. Get it loaded up in our airbrush. Easy mode. There we go. Get back, city. Uh oh, and Viking tea bagger at the same time. <laughs> it's so gangs. It's so many John Cena's right now. <laughs> Viking tea bagger with a twenty dollar donation, getting his gift bag. People, hairdo redeeming his gift bag. And we still have one more episode to get Yo Dog this month, guys. Here we go. Let's just bang out some quick primer on this. This is Vallejo uh, uh, textured putty that we put on this earlier today. And we're just priming the whole thing gray just real quick so we can come back to it. There it is. Let it sit right there. Let's clean out the airbrush. Because we're going to get that base done too, guys. Ancient Chinese technique right here. All right. Let that dry. Uh, next thing I'm going to do. We're going to we're going to work on some details that we can work on this guy while we let some of that shit dry. All right. Yep, Jen painted her first model on Slow Fuse. Pretty sure um, it's not even going to be about what Jason does anymore. Red, white, and blue. Yep. Tripwire. I've literally never said beast mode in my life. But he needs a gift bag. $25. Gets his yo dogs. Love you, brother. Hype. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm doing a quick count. I think we might have got another t-shirt in there. Nope. We're good. Math is right. Math is right. Okay. Love you, brother. Iron-headed. I'm, I'm hoping we can get to that, but at the very least today, 
I'm going to show off see the new secret weapon acrylics. Minimum. I promise we're at least going to get to this. And these are in the gift bag, guys. There's 15 paints in the line, and we're going to try to use two of them today. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is, while we're letting all this bullshit dry, um... 100% before I varnish it because we do not want to fuck this model up. He's going to be he's going to be an amazing piece when we're done. Let's get this skull done. Damn it. Fucking, of course, one of my brushes I left out. I'm going to have to put a little brush up on that shit. Set it off to the side. Grazer. That's an old schooler. Yo, that's Grazer right there. Five dollar donation, doing what he can. He says it's all about the community. That's why we do everything, brother. Love you, homie. Hype that man up. Yeah, if you guys order a T-shirt after this statement right here, let me know so that way I can check back on it to keep it updating. Ironhead, I think it is a Reaper formula. Viking Teabagger. And his name is John C. That is my man right there. Okay, let's try Let's just go crazy, man. Like, let's try some of these uh, secret weapon model, uh, paints right now. Like, let's see if we can do kind of like a skull effect. So I'm going to use the light dust and the... Uh, weathered wood let's see what happens man like i've never this is the first i'm literally about to open these for the first time about to open these for the first time Excellent. thank you for the follow bow forever okay so like i said i'm not sure i've never used them before we're about to find out what what kind of effect we can achieve here I'm going to get a little bit of this weathered wood out. We're going to see what happens. Never done before. Okay. Cheesy puffs. That lamp is amazing. It is a very good lamp. This model is, oh, the the lamp. Sorry, that's I, uh, I got a serial number for it. It's uh, you can get them pretty good. I think they're down. To, I think that you can get them. I think they're down fifty percent right now, down to like maybe one hundred sixty dollars. I'll post it up later. Okay, so let's work on this skull. Let's see what. Let's see if these secret weapon miniature paints do work. So here's something that seems kind of like close to what I've already laid down on there. Where the fuck is my shit? I want a little bit of a palette. Here we go. Let's see what we can do here. World premiere. Live on li live stream premiere at least. Excellent. I'm a QDU. Thanks for the follow. All right, we're coming on. Never used this paint before. Never even opened them. And we're working on this skull right here. It definitely, I picked it because it looked a shade higher than the tone I already had on there. Coming on with a nice thin coat. Slide around. You know, I talked to Justin, the owner of Secret Weapon Miniatures, and he told me the reason he went with Reaper and his team up is because Reaper paints, he said, they never satin on you. They never go shiny on you. Ultimately, why he worked with them. And he said these are really airbrush friendly, too. And I can see that. They're, they have a nice consistency. Okay, so we just put a, we just lightened up that skull a notch. Let's reach in now for this 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 weathered wood, this kind of like dirty white. 
is what it looks like. This is a great color. Let's turn the light down a little bit since now we're going to white. Thanks, James. Okay, let's see what happens here. Let's mix a little bit of it up with that brown. It's looking pretty good. We're just chasing, kind of tracing the perimeter of the skull with this highlight color we just created. We're going to thin it down even more. going to bring it up to the top to whiten up the skull. Nice watered application. Slide back around up here. There we go. This is good paint. Good paint. Secret Web Minister. We're going to let that dry real quick. We'll slide over to the nut sack, the sack of nuts. We'll use the unadulterated highlight color we just decided we like. And we'll give it an extreme highlight before we wash it. You know, just like almost cell shading. I like to really brighten colors up before I wash them. Just like that. The wash will do so much more work over that. Oh, someone got a shirt. We're getting closer. All right, let's slide in, in the cut right here. Add a couple of lines before we wash this piece too. And the nut sack, the sack of nuts that is. Sack of sacks. Okay, looking good. We'll let both of, we'll let both of those things dry up to a nice level. We're gonna slide back here. And we're gonna add, we're gonna basically pull out a bit, little bit of a bigger brush, right here. And I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna make up a gray real quick. And let's see what Secret Weapons got for grays. Oh yeah, there was a color in here I liked. Okay, so there's a color in here called Tire Black. Let's try to see what this color looks like. Dirty Dan, Dusty Dan. Let's call him Dusty Dan. I'm going to pull out some of this tire black so we can take a look at it. It is an interesting color. Let me show you guys. There's definitely like a greenish blue in it. Joe Darkblade. What's up, player? $5 donation. Show that man some love. Chaos all day. So this black is pretty crazy. So let's see what it does over at, over black. We're coming in for like kind of a wet smearing dry brush effect here. Patented. And there's like definitely like a greenish. Definitely I would call it a rubber. Like it's definitely got a rubbery color. I'm liking it. It's fucking pretty good man. Secret Web Miniatures not playing games, bro. They're in it to win it. Okay, here's 
flip it for real. Toward the next bottle of wild turkey. Show that man some love with a $35 donation. Strikingly close to how much a bottle of wild turkey costs. Bourbon for life. Flip it for real. Love you, brother. Okay, guys. This is now where it's going to get super icy. There is a rubber highlight color in this in this lineup of paints. So we're going to pour this out. See what the rubber highlight looks like. And I already know in my gut that I'm going to take this highlight and mix it with the not highlight. There it is. Making a kind of a darker version of it. Let's see what that does. We're just bringing it up slowly with the same kind of technique. We're just changing the color of this robe slowly. And then we'll wash it back down of this fur. And we'll put the black wash back in it. That is an interesting color. I mean, that is that is really unique. Ironhead, what do you think about these colors? All right, let's go to the extreme highlight now. Let's dry it off nice and good. There we go. That's pretty good. Um, they don't really have reds. He has rusty reds. So then he doesn't like these are definitely like very specific colors. There's 15 paints out right now. I will definitely try to use them all, as many as I can today. Yeah, Chris. I mean, it says they're tire colors, but like, I mean, obviously they're just good. I mean, they're they're gonna be used anyway. Okay, so I really like that. So let's um let's try out one of their other colors. See, we got these black exhaust pipes up here. Let's see what else. Oh, he's got another rubber. Yeah, so he's got like a black rubber right here. I bet this is a great highlight color for other things. Old Rust. Okay, let's see what Old Rust looks like. So here's Old Rust. I'm getting it out on the table. Shaking it up. And I'm going to immediately pair Old Rust with Red red Rust. Okay. Let's see what we do here. Okay, so let's take this, uh, the dark one, the old rust color. And like I said, we're gonna go, we're, we're digging deep, man. We're gonna drop it off on these exhaust pipes. It's called old rust. It's really thin down right now. I want to see what kind of stick we get with a thin version of it. Of course, the tablet's being a straight bitch right now. Throwing up ads all over me.
What's wrong, Flippa for real? <laughs> All right. So this is old rust, and we're about to switch, flip the gate and use red rust in one second. There is a lot of coverage with these colors. And I'm really thinning them out, too. Okay, and I've always liked Reaper, and I think this is Reaper formula. Looking good. Oh, looks like the emotes are in play. My man Slow Fuse Gaming's emotes just came through. All right, so now we're switching the, the fli uh, flipping the script, as it were, to Red Rust. At least what Red Rust looks like over Old Rust. Now we're going to mix it in a little bit, see what the, the the blend looks like. Okay. Let's go back to the red. Do a couple of highlights with it. Okay, it's looking good. All right, let's fucking keep this train going. So that was old rust and red rust. He's also got brown rust. He's got orange rust. Why do I have two of these out? All right, let's try orange rust. Little orange rust out, and he's also got fucking yellow rust, and we'll pull some of that out. Okay, so we've got multiple rusts out in the palette now. Yellow and orange. Shaking them up. Flip it for real. And his name is John Love you, dog. Hype that man up, getting his gift bag. All right, guys, so now we're switching... Now we're going to take the orange rust, and I'm going to mix the orange rust a little bit with the red rust as a common color. See what happens. We're getting a nice highlight. Good. You on one corn, I think is what it said. Thanks for the follow, brother. Good highlight right there. Filthy fake. What's up, brother? Let's keep it icy. Now let's go back to that orange. Do another line of orange. See what it looks like without any red in it. Pow. Now let's get the yellow rust. See what it does. On the very peaks. Right there. Yo, I'm feeling that, bro. I'm feeling that. That looks good. Yo, that looks good. Okay, let's flip it back to the skull that we were letting dry. Let's grab some of that weathered wood out there and see if we can highlight it up a little bit further. Weathered wood. Let's 
turn the light down a little bit to see the to see this color. Let's thin it down a little bit more. Yo, I'm feeling that. Feeling that weathered wood, too. It's ready for a wash. Secret weapon miniature paints in the gift bag. Exhaust pipes came out fresh, man. Feeling like we're going to have to do that same effect here on this blade, too. Okay. So we're still letting this base dry. We will jump the gun on it here real soon. And I will do a tally here. This is what our Thousand Sun Marine is looking like. Looking super good. We're, st we're about to varnish this guy, though, here in a second. I'm going to let this guy sit here like this for a minute while I tally up the shirt sales so we can know if we triggered. Let me plug the uh, tablet back in because this shit's about to die. His name is John C. Razzer just got himself a gift bag. Hype that man up. Thank you, Grazer. You're going to get some of these secret weapon paints. You're going to get some Elric's Hobbies merchandise and some secret weapon bases and some objective markers. It's going to be a great gift bag this month. If you haven't received your loot crate from last month or anything like that, I promise you I have them on a shelf. I only go to the post office to make two shipments a month because it's like literally 70 packages. I'm not like, I try to just get it done. Um, all right, let's go down. I think we might have done it, guys. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Thirty seven. We're about to do an ancient Chinese technique right now, guys. This is super ancient. One second. All right. This is called Reaper Master Series. Or sorry, Model Masters Lusterless right here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just do a quick dusting on this motherfucker right here. I'm going to do it back here, though, so it's not all ridiculous. Give it a good shake. Shake the fuck out of it. I'm gonna mat down some of that shiny gloss we just laid down on it. This is not really a too bad of a. Um, this is actually designed for like hobbyists. They use an alcohol base, so it's not like super disruptive. It's just that I'm still gonna wear a mask if I'm gonna do it right here at my desk. All right, he's good. He's drying. Now that he's drying and we just tested all those those paints out, let's do some show and tell, guys. I'm ready for a show and tell session if you guys are. Uh-oh. Mm. Mm. It's 
my man right there. 1473, love the stream. Cabal for life, brother. That man, that's one as in O N E. 473, $20 donation. Love you, brother. Keep it fucking icy. Hype that man up. I'm going to get the page set up. For some community, show and tell love. Anybody just tuning in who doesn't know that we've changed. Let me explain it again. We have integrated with Slow Fuse Gaming. We have one community support page now. SlowFuseGaming.com. Go there, check out the user gallery, or go to the information panel below, and there's a link right there. And occasionally, Ironheaded will post the link up. He's probably doing it right now. Put your pictures there so they're in one place for our combined communities because that's what it's about. And tomorrow on Wednesday, on Slow Few Gaming Channel, on Whip Wednesdays, he's giving stuff out to people who get the most votes on their models. Katmandu, he's going to be up first. Yo, Katmandu, show me up. One second, guys. Katmandu, he's like, yo, fuck your, fuck Dusty Dan, Rusty Dan. They're like, fuck this guy. Look at this beast. Now, that is a really well-converted Thousand Sons Lord with a commie melter. Oh, shit. Love it, brother. Katmandu. Love it. Let me check the Q&A. Because i got to use my tablet. <laughs> Clamp all day, homie. Alright. I've got the... I've got the tablet in my hands. I can do this now. You guys are nerds, by the way. I just want you to know that I'm reading the chat. Bell on deck. Let's see what Bell on deck has got. Ooh, Bell on deck is working on his Blood Angel Terminator Force. Apophis UK, I think we're there, brother. You're probably right. It's coming out. This this baller, Katmandu. Let's jump back into it. And his name is John C. Uh oh. Richter Scale Studios. Fun to keep the ice team going. Mm. That's my man, Richter Scale Studios, right there. Show him some love. $50 donation. He is the greatest. I love you, Doug. He's not actually the greatest. He's just one of the greatest because you're all equally great to me. Except for killing side painting. Fuck you. Alright, back to the community support page. Love you. Show that man some love. Um, here's Phil Harmonics Zero with another Chaos Renegade Night Titan. That shit gets me so hyped. Gets me so hyped to see some chaos renegade knights. So much love. Absolutely love it. Does base height affect LOS and 40k? Yes. <laughs> and his it does. Name is John C. There it is. Richter Scale Studio just picked up the last Death Watch Marine Swat Creep. Got it right here. Already packed, bro. Ready to go, homie. Love you, dog. Definitely interrupt speed. It does. You got to be careful about that. Back to the community page. Let's take a look. Uh, Cutthroat Cure. Ooh. Cutthroat Cure coming in fresh. That is an amazing mini, my man. What is that? I mean, what is that like? Is that a War Machine model? Like a War Mords? I don't even know what that is. Confrontation? I don't fucking know. I'm not a model scientist. I'm definitely not a miniature scientist. <laughs> J. 
John Bingham. You're almost you're almost there, John Bingham. You'll have it definitely by next episode. Or even this episode. What am I talking about? All right. Here's Yori Ka uh, Cassidon. The legendary one and only Yori with a Death Guard, Conceptor Dreadnought. I fucking love it, brother. I love it. Troll Blood from Hordes. I, I knew I was close. Did I say Warm Hordes? Is that the first thing I said? I am a fucking model scientist. I'm a natural, homie. Yo, dog, bot. <laughs> Horde trolls. <laughs> <coughs> Let me refresh this bitch. See if there's anything going on that we missed out for show and tell. Oh, there are so many models. Chris999. Oh, Death Watch kill team, bro. I fucking love it. Yo, those bases are so hot, bro. Yo, you did a great job in those blacks. And of course, the best one is the guy with the bright green shoulder pad. I can't wait to see it, Yori. Synapse. <laughs> yep. This is good, brother. Um, here's Devil Man with the Dark Angel Master. Good job on that sword, man. I'm digging it. I, I hate painting those models. There's so many details. They're so hard. Don't forget, guys. At some point during the show, we're going to be doing two raffles. We're going to give away Slow Fuse's gift bag. And we're going to give away 10 new on the sprue Chaos Space Marines. Because this is the month of chaos. All day. Right here. New on the sprue. And don't forget, we are giving away Dusty Dan, the Thousand Suns Terminator Lord for your Chaos Warband. He will be a top donor to giveaway next month. All right, let's see what else we got. Special feelings, work in progress. Special feelings, I always love looking at your models, brother. You always do some crazy shit. Like, this is obviously a Christmas uh, Christmas theme. Dude, you were saying? You're literally insane. That's all can be said about this. Special feelings. <laughs> You're such a gangster. Oh, I missed the name. Yori, another Yori. Dog, that's looking fresh. Look at it, it says it. <laughs> Ultramarine all day, brother. Looking good, man. Let's move it up. Logically unfit. Objective marker. Work in progress. Yo. Shit's looking baller, homie. It's looking baller. <laughs> Special feelings is so crazy. All right. Nakas. Nakas is an old schooler. Whoa, look at this. Yo, that is fresh, homie. I love that water, man. You make that display board too? Nakas, good job, man. All right, here is Odium. An Inquisitor conversion, sideways, looking good. The colors are so on point. What a great base too, man. Dude, good job. I'm gonna keep it going. Team Jen, here it is, guys. There it is. All day. Hashtag Team Jen for the win. This is better than... The, I didn't paint a model this good for like 12 years. Just so you guys know. It's adorable. <laughs> that, <laughs> Shaga, that conversion went sideways. 
All right, Word Bearers, Chaos Lords by Hydra Ascendant. Oh, fuck yes. Holy shit, look at that sorcerer back there. Damn. I need to subscribe to Slow Fuse ASAP to get those fucking emotes. Okay, guys. Let's, let's, let's boost out on this show and tell for a second. Now, let me check on the status of shirts, because I think we may have done it. I think we may have done it. In case you don't know what we're talking about, if you're new. This is the shirt we're talking about. His name is John oh. C. Chris99, veteran of the long war for a hot minute. Welcome to the stream, brother. Ten dollar donation. Show that man some love. <coughs> Excuse me, brother. Show that man some love. Veteran of the Long Wars, always welcomed here. The Long War is the home of the battle reports. Okay, I think we did it. Pretty sure we did. I'm looking in here. Yep, we've done it. It has happened. We have pre-sold all the shirts. We're in overtime, guys. I am going to keep them up for the rest of the week to make sure everyone gets an opportunity to get their shirt. When we're done, that's it. We are not going to sell this shirt again in this iteration. If this design makes it to a shirt again, it will be something else. It'll be on the back of a blue shirt or some shit like that. But the black front... This is it. We will never sell them again. This is this is just for you guys. So we are in overtime. You guys did it, man. We did some t-shirts. I feel honored to be a part of this. I've never sold t-shirts for my brand ever, for the Next Level Painting brand. And the next shirt that we will do will be sometime around Christmas. We've, I mean, we got the design and I'll, and I'll let you guys take a look at it right now. I will jump in my email. And I'm going to pull this design down, and so you guys will know what the Christmas shirt will look like. Okay, guys. Bottom of my heart. You guys did it. I love you guys. But here it is. This shirt. Still up for the rest of the week during Christmas. Let me show you the new shirt. This is going to be dope. There it is. Ancient Chinese techniques will be is the, is going to be the tagline for this shirt right here. This is Thomas Go Boy, one of my best friends, Thomas Reddy. He's one of my best friends in the world. He always helps me with the artwork. This is 100% his work. He did the coloring, he did the inking. Last shirt I did the coloring, he did the inking. This is going to be the Christmas shirt right here. And we might, we'll do a straw poll. Maybe we'll just do Yo Dogs for this one instead of uh, pre-sale. You guys make this possible. Love you guys. Okay. I think it's time. Pull the airbrush back out, guys. Oh, you know what we'll do first? You know what we'll do first? First, we're going to raffle away Slow Fuse Gaming's gift bag. We're going to do that right now, guys.
It's happening. Keyword. Exclamation point. Slow. And his name is John C. Sit for game. Just got herself a legendary gift bag. All right, I'm going to wait for all that mess to go away. Thank you. You're such a beast. You go, girl. Here it is, guys. Exclamation point slow. I'm going to enable the timer right now. Two minutes from this moment. Two-minute timer. The winner will go home with Slow Fuse Gaming's gift bag. He just redeemed his Yo Dogs, got his gift bag, and he's going to raffle it to you guys. This is courtesy of Jason at Slow Fuse Gaming, my stream buddy. One half of the legendary bi-weekly, dual-weekly bromance. It's getting real. It's happening. Do it, guys. Is Yori in it? You know Yori's gonna win it, that fucking hacker. <laughs> fucking hacker. Joe Darkblade, we appreciate it, brother. We do what we can to integrate, man. Hairdo. If Yori wins, I'm done with the stream and stopping my sub. I'm, I understand, brother. I'll give you a full refund on your shirt and everything, brother. <laughs> if Yori wins, I'll quit. <laughs> Still one more name. I just seen you jump in, brother. About to end. About to lock out. 93 applicants made it in the keyword raffle. There it is. If you got missed, I'm sorry, brother. If Naked Puzzle Basement, you missed it, don't worry. We're doing another raffle on the stream. We're giving away Chaos Base Marines. Neo Cypher, that's the secret weapon acrylics, brother. The new That's one of our sponsors. Okay, guys, you ready to see who wins this? Everyone, we've got 93 applicants. The timer is done. We're going to draw this winner right now, guys. This is one of two raffles we're doing today. Okay. Let's draw the winner. Logically unfit. You are the winner of this gift bag courtesy of Slow Fuse Gaming. Don't forget to check them out tomorrow on Whip Wednesday. Logically unfit. Whisper me all the information I need to get this gift bag to you, brother. Okay, guys, don't forget, there's another raffle still. We're giving away 10 Chaos Space Marines on the sprue. This is chaos, brother. Traders hate all day, brother. Chaos Warbands need 10 Chaos Space Marines to be played. And you know what else a Chaos Warband needs? Chaos Warbands need a Chaos Lord. This is my preferred loadout. Terminator armor, Marker Zines, Combi Melta, and a Chain Fist. I recommend putting them in with the obligatory elite choice of three Terminators with Kami Meltas, 112 points, Termicide unit, drop in, roll fucking infinity on the boon chart, make this guy have amazing powers, be amazing, he's only 160 points, this guy will be a top donate a raffle giveaway, sorry, next month. One, uh, 473, we'll do more show and tell today, don't worry brother, keep uploading. But right now, we're going to get back to painting. Turn down my screen dimness. Let's get the tablet on deck. Okay. All right, let's get back to painting, guys. Congratulations to Logically Unfit.
All right. So this guy's drying up. Let's go back to the base. Now let's try out some of these secret weapon acrylics in an airbrush on this base right here, guys. Let's pull out the old airbrush. Airbrush and gaze, interrupt speed, redeem. And his name is John C. man right there love you dog enjoy your gift bag man all right let's get this airbrush at least medium clean okay LT and his name is John C. <laughs> Appreciate it, brother. Okay. Ancient Chinese technique engaged. Airbrush flow improver from Vallejo. I've decided to use old mud, I think, is the color I wanted to use. And handle wood? What the fuck was I going to do? I'm trying to remember. Hold on. Light rust, old mud. Is that what I want to do? Damn. All right, let's fuck it. Oh, don't overthink it. We're doing first color, new secret weapon acrylics, old mud, homie. Shake it up. Let's let's see what happens. Instantaneously doing the thing that all fucking bottles do. Let's reach in to the paint pot real quick. Let's, let's get it nice and mixed. Let's put a drop of water in there. Let's just do everything that we normally do. Old mud, first on deck. Okay, old mud. Looking good. This is real thin. Let's throw some air on it. We really, we really push the pace. But when you prime with a gray, it's totally fine. You see how some of the gray is showing through? The gray will naturally shade the model. Just blowing pure air on it, guys. Help rapidly dry the model. LT, old mud and light rust. New cologne, the official scent of Next Level Painting. Okay. Let's drop a little bit more of the mud on the dirt. Let that rock ride. With a little bit of that. Okay, let's dump it out. Let's let that sit there. Let's turn the light down just a little bit. Let's zoom in. Cleaning the airbrush out just real quick. What I'm going to do next is let's pick another color. I want to really try something here. I want to try this rubber highlight right here on that rock. This is how you get it done. You just try shit. Just try shit, man. Rubber highlight. I have a feeling this is going to look good. Stirring it up. It's a little flow improver. Yeah. 
focusing on the uh, the big flat areas and the peak. go this is rubber highlight guys giving that stone a different color than the base feeling it this is a good color. This color has a lot of application. Okay, we're gonna let that sit there. Now we're gonna go crazy. We're gonna grab the weathered wood right here and we're gonna mix a little bit of this directly in the pot. Odium, you out of here, brother? So now we're going to whiten it up just a little bit with this crazy wood color. So we just mix it right in the pot. Gangster gumbo. So we're going to get it going through our brush. Throw a little water in there like you've seen us do. We got to keep the tip clean, guys. The tip is not clean at this moment. And of course, fucking toothbrush is gone. Iron headed. Where that? Where'd I put it? God, I can't keep a toothbrush handy. Save my fucking life. Gonna have to use the old paintbrush trick. Okay. Let's see what okay, let's see what this highlight color does that we just made. Looking good. Secret weapon acrylics. There it is. We're just blowing some air on it right now to let it dry up a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit more water in the pot. Clean the tip a little bit more. Okay. Let's, let's, let's slide around the sides. Just like that. Oh my god, so many ads on this piece of shit. Feeling good about that. That looks dope. Okay, one last highlight. Let's dump out the pot. We're going to go back to the color that we used to, to mix in with that rubber. And we're going to go pure gangster on it right now.
We're going to go... This is called... Weathered Wood that we're about to pure highlight it with. Here we go. We're going to gum on super light. Just a little bit more brighter than it was before. Just on these tips. And we'll give it a light dry brush too. There it is. Secret Weapon Miniatures Acrylics. Live stream premiere. Run them through an airbrush. Run them with a paintbrush. They are good paints, guys. You're going to be getting some of those in the gift bags. Our Chaos Lord is going to be very happy on that rock. If you got to do any standing, be proud to stand on that rock. Okay. Compressor off. That's scary as shit, Macro Pixie. Okay, we're gonna let this dry. Over here, somewhere. We're gonna bring this guy back out. And we're gonna work on some highlights. All right, feeling good about that. God, this stupid nail pissing me off. All right. <laughs> Slow fuse, I got you back, homie. All right, let me see if I can fucking, there we go. Okay, so now we're gonna highlight this gold, guys. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna yank out that Reaper new gold that I was telling you guys about. And his name is John C. Swag bag activated. Four Gen Z with a five dollar donation, getting his gift bag activation. Show that man some love. All right, new gold, new gold engage. So we're gonna get some of this new gold out on our palette. <laughs> drop a little water out on the palette too gonna get one of our detail brushes excuse me sorry let's see what we can do it already looks magnificent but it can look better Remember, guys, when you use an airbrush, you save so much time. Once you figure out how to use your airbrush, you can save so much time at the beginning of a project, like two, three hours. You owe it to yourself to always put that time back in at the back end so you've enhanced your overall project. Because if you just airbrush it and you say, hey, I saved all this time, and you skip all the back end steps, you just end up with a worse product. Okay, so we're taking the new gold and we're just gonna. Oh, there it is, 4 Gen Z. And his name is John, John Cena, C. dog. Give back city. Here we go. So just a little bit of this color in the cut. We're not gonna like retrace it all. We're just going to augment the points.
Just a little bit of brightness. In some of these clutch areas. Nice. I'm doing it kind of watered down. It does, it does a lot of work. Okay. There are some weird irregular shapes, though, on a Chaos shoulder pad. For sure. You got to be careful when you get to them. Top of this eye. Just augment it. This thing right here. Augment. Easy as fuck. Let's make sure to keep our line going Excellent. right here. Thanks for the follow. Death, fun games. Nice line right there. Does a lot of work. So this is just a technique, guys. Literally anyone could do this shit. I'm putting a little bit more love in on these shoulder pads because they are focal points. Just watered down, though. Okay, so the, there's some spikes right here in the top of this eye. You definitely want to give them a little love. And his name is John C. Major rat, Ratchet Bone. Or rat, ratchet Bone. Show the man some love. Five dollars, hundred yo dogs. So you see what we're getting here, guy. And his oh, name is John. T six ten. Love it, brother. T six ten with eleven dollars. That's a very specific amount. I imagine you're exactly $11 away from a swag bag. <laughs> Don't forget, we have one more stream on the last day of the month. It usually doesn't work out that way. So you guys will still have chances. So you see what we're getting here is we're getting a truly yellow gold. This is very Zinchi, and I really wanted the gold to be yellow to go with that Zinch look. So let's just make sure these spikes look their best. And just keep that theme going, guys. There it is. Excellent. Thanks for the follow, Dave LaForest. Just keep finding the things that should be more gold. And you might also find areas that you didn't paint enough that you have to fix right now. Give this face a little bit of love, just on the bumps, the little raised bumps of the face. Let the wash do the rest of the work. A little bit on the top of this spike. Flip the angle. I'm always moving the model around.
It's got these teeth down here. I think I forgot the wash down here, so we're going to have to add a little bit of wash later. A little bit right here. Sorry, guys. I'm really focused right now. I'm not looking up at the chat very much when I'm in this mode. The, the trim makes and breaks chaos. So we got a nice, truly yellow gold shoulder pad right there. Slide over to the center. Carefully highlight the top of this bracket, this uh, trim right here. Nice edge highlight. Just kind of focusing on certain areas, not the whole thing. All right. Some of these nuts, give them a little dot. Clean up these arrows a little bit. The key here is nice thin coats. <laughs> Ebb and flow, you know what's up. Make these little points look their absolute best. Couple of clutch details, all it takes, man. Just augmenting it. Not repainting it. Important to keep it nice and watered down. Normally it has very low stick, but when you have a base gold already, it sticks really well. All right, now let's draw a nice crisp line right here. Down here too. Let's water that one down a little bit more. We let that one get away from us a little bit. Bring it back though. We'll let that dry for a second. Reestablish. Hit the tops of these greaves. This exoskeleton right here. Sorry if I went off camera there. This Zinch Lord is coming out so tight. Very exciting colors. I haven't painted a Thousand Suns Terminator in like literally six, seven years. I painted a few of them back in the day though. They come in here. Really, it just augment. What's going on here? Somebody say something that I need to that I need to know. It's 
Sorry guys, hyper focusing right now. Just bringing that heat. I would say this is the this is how I paint every model and then what we do from here really determines like what level we take it to popping those little fangs out Making them look their chaos best. Shoe. Okay, we're looking good right there. See, we're not doing everything. We're just doing what we can see in the front. Same deal on this side. We already did a bunch of it. Gonna make the arrows look a little tighter. Draw a little bit down here under the greaves. But you can't see most of this down here. Because most of it's gonna be over his under like under his body the way he's lurching forward. So you really don't have to focus too much down there. The only part you're really gonna see is this is his foot. So you definitely want to make sure he gets a nice little ring around his foot right here. There. So on the front. Looking at this little QA best I can. Alright. Let's go back to this spot right here. Build that line up. Let's draw another one over here. It's hard to see these, but they keep catching my eyes and move it around, so that means it's noticeable. good knocking shit over left and right same deal on his head watered down let's yellow up these spikes in the top very watered down okay let's put that down for a minute guys Show off what we've done so far. Excellent. Op Donuts. OP Donuts. Thanks for the follow, brother. Show them off real quick. Here's the base. We still have to do some dry brushing and shit on this. A little bit of wash. It's not there yet. It's just very, ba very baseline. Okay. You guys know what time it is? First off, I just found my fucking toothbrush. That's ridiculous. It was by my mouse. A 
Low life and didn't get Yo Dog update with this donation hookup. Look, low life and did you use a e check to donate? Let me just go in there real quick and see what happened. Because if you use an e check, if your PayPal is not directly using a balance or a debit card, it will write me an e check. In which case, Twitch Alerts doesn't know about it, and thus I won't know about it until I log into PayPal. And then like seven days later when it clears. Low life in. Whisper me your real name so I can take a look at it. Oh, T6 Ted. T6 Ted, whisper me your real name. Oh, did it show up? Were you $11, T6 Ted? Let me whisper, let me whisper the mod. All right, Iron Headed might have stepped away. Um, the algorithm doesn't automatically update Yo Dogs for donations. Iron Headed does it for you guys. If Iron Headed walked away for a second to take a leak, he didn't see it, but I just whispered him. Iron Headed checking in like the great, world's greatest mod. Okay, guys, do you know what time it is? You guys know what time it is? Oh my God, I'm getting so excited. Uh-oh. You guys see what time it is? New keyword raffle, guys. Exclamation point chaos. The winner of this raffle is going to win um, these 10 Chaos Base Marines right now, guys. Low life and... His name is John C. You guys are getting stacked. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Alerts off. Alerts back on. <laughs> so that was a disaster. <laughs> that was a disaster. Okay. So my man Low Life and just redeemed for a gift bag. And my man Yori Kasudan. $45 Yo Dogs from the cornfields of Illinois to the heart of Next Little Painting Studio. Basement Workshop asking you to have drinks on us. Okay. Love you, brother. Hype that man up. I haven't started the timer yet. I haven't started the timer yet. Dragon gift bag. Okay, guys, it's happening. Raffle engaged. 10 Chaos Space Marines. Exclamation point chaos. Timer has begun two minutes from this moment. You have two minutes to use the keyword to win 10 on the sprue Chaos Space Marines for your Chaos Warband. You need at least 10 Marines. I recommend two five man squads and rhinos. Objective secure. I recommend the Chaos Lord that we are painting right now. We're going to be giving that um, Chaos Lord away on the 4th. October 4th, top donator giveaway will win Dusty Dan. He'll go home with a new fucking dude to lead his new Chaos Warband. Chaos Warbands are really good. Chaos is back with that formation. And you also need 10 Marines, so somebody's going to walk home with these 10 Marines. Last week, two Hellbrutes and another Lord. That's how we do. Tuesdays are the giveaways, guys. We're going to be doing probably three 
keyword raffles and one top donor to give away per month. Next month, we're trying to do this the Gore Chosen top donor to give away. All four models painted with the board game. It's getting real, guys. We've already got 88 entries. Ninety entries. Let's see what happens, homies. Get him in there. Exclamation point chaos. Everyone gets one raffle ticket for that, no matter how many times you click it. No matter how many times you type it. We got big news, guys. Got big news. Shit's gonna get real. Impulse. Impulse game just re impulse just received uh, redeem for a gift bag, guys. Congratulations, brother. We're, this is we're giving away gift bags left and right, but the raffle is closed. We are about to draw this winter for 10 Chaos Space Marines, guys. Good old Creel Trevin. What's up, brother? Kyrell Trevin. I already say it, brother. Whisper me with your shipping information. You win 10 Chaos Space Marines on the sprue. Guys, don't go anywhere. Big news. Big news. New raffle. We're doing a third raffle. We're doing a third raffle in just one second. Congratulations, brother. Excellent. In one second, I'll let you know what the what the new raffle's for. Another free keyword raffle. There it is. T610 Gift bag Raffle My man T610 is gonna Is letting us raffle his gift bag Right now to somebody else on the stream I really love seeing that support brother New raffle for T6 Ted gift bag. Love you, brother. You're a true gentleman and a true pimp. Begins now. Exclamation point. All day. That might be confusing for the bot, but who cares? Two minute timer. Has begun. There it is, guys. Everyone thank T6 Ted for this and Slow Fuse Gaming. Two, two gift bags right there. Somebody else is walking home with them. Travel, Kyriel Travel, don't forget to whisper me your shipping information, brother. Naked Puzzle Basement. I love seeing you in these. <laughs> and my man, Mike C. Excellent! 
I'm Drekka. Thanks for the follow. Apex Vander. Thank you for the follow as well. Missed you guys earlier. Hairdo. I feel you, brother. Well, we have another raffle, Hairdo. T6 Ted is giving away his gift bag right now to somebody. Exclamation point all day. Hurry up and hit it. Oh, it's go time. Super excited. Look, still looking for Creole Travel to send me his shipping information. One, four, seven, three. That makes me so fucking happy to hear. about to be it's about to be real guys there it is 97 entries in and his name is John C. John Bingham redeemed for a gift bag I fear a million percent. shit is getting so real right now cannot <laughs> vapor you are a legend. Thank you for the subscription, my brother. You guys ready? Hype that man up. Wait one second. We're about to draw this raffle. See who wins T6 Ted's gift bag right now. Pow! Sharky Khan. Sharky Han? Congratulations, brother. Definitely whisper me with your shipping information so you can receive this free gift bag courtesy of T6 Ted. Please hype up T6 Ted. Please hype up. Canuck Vapor, you guys are so legendary. Excellent! Panagru, thanks for the follow, brother. While you guys are doing that, let's get back to the zinch. Let's get back to the highlights. Want to make sure we got our raffle. Okay, guys. Let's do it. Let's bang out the rest of these highlights real quick. Switch over to the other shoulder pad. This one's a little easier. Water down, Reaper New Gold. It's a great color, very yellow. It's perfect for Thousand Suns, who will always have that yellow to pair off with the blue. Nice highlight right there. There it is. Real yellow. Love that shit, man. Now let's carefully add a little bit of this yellow gold, this new gold to the peaks. Right there. Skull on the hand, on the eyebrows, above the teeth right here. Switch to the bottom real quick. I can see a spot in here I don't like. There's a little blue still sticking on this gold down here. Okay. Let's get down here on his uh, hip armor. Let's make sure to touch this up. 
Next we'll follow Ace Deck, Act Deck. Okay. Now you can go as beast on this as you want. You can literally keep coming in there, keep highlighting everything, add a little silver. You can decide how amazing it looks. Now, I will go that beast on this model. Because this is going to be a top donor to giveaway. But you don't have to. As you can see right now, we already have well above a tabletop quality model. If we didn't do one more thing to this guy, he'd be amazing still. But we are going to do the next level. Our namesake. So, here, take a look at that yellow cape. Look at that pop. Look at these secret weapon colors on this cape. I have to give credit to my man, Evan Valdyke. He's the one who said that we should do yellow, purple inseam on this cape. He was in the Discord the other day telling me that. This skull is also secret weapon. The nutsack is secret weapon. We're looking good, guys. Just real quick, let's pull out a wash. Let's pull out Reichland Flesh Shade Gloss Wash, because you know I'm, I'm getting high to the gloss washes. Devil Man, uh, the brushes, exclamation point paintbrush, I think. We have a command to let you guys know what our paintbrushes are. Okay, so now we're going to wash. this sack of sacks right here with this gloss wash just like that nice healthy wash very generous application right here we're going to let that skull sit there because we did all that work blending it that's exactly how I want it to look Nutsack looks good. We're done with that. Now let's um let's get crazy. So let's pull out. This is the Vallejo black metal right here. I'm gonna pull some of that out of my palette just real quick. And then we're gonna dig deep. And you guys know I like to use these brighter colors too. So this is Vallejo silver. We're gonna put it on our palette right next to the black gold, and we're gonna make our own little custom mix as we go. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to dig into this black gold. Uh, it's impossible to see with the lighting. That's what I thought. And we're going to snag a little bit of silver up to make a highlight color. And we're going to start simple. Just drawing some edges right here on this claw with this, this highlight we just mixed. Like that. Keep it, keep it alive. This vent box. heat vent or whatever it is. Oh, hairdo. <laughs> hairdo, you beast. Alright, we're going to have to raffle off a t-shirt apparently. Apparently, hairdo is not content. So give me one minute, and we will raffle off a t-shirt. Thank you to hairdo. Hype that man up. Show him some love. All 
Okay, so you see what we're doing here. Giving ourselves some highlight love on the metals. We're gonna we're gonna we're just gonna keep doing that the whole way around. Like I said, we take this shit to the next level. All day, every day. Let me just do the teeth on this chainsaw real quick, and then we'll raffle off a t-shirt. Just like that. Leaving a little bit of the dark metal in place. Give it some true depth. Just like that, slide into here, there's a finger in there, just blended it in, okay. So that's that's the idea. We're gonna go around the whole model, pick out the metals, the silvers, with that technique. All technique, guys. We're not doing anything, man. That literally, with no blending. Like we're just doing technique, man. That's what we do. Next level painting. You have you'll have a chance to win this guy next week, guys. Or not next week, sorry. You have a chance to win him next month. That's where we're at. Real quick. Here's our base that we're working on. We got to debut some colors today. You guys ready for another raffle? Let's jump in it, homies. First things first. Let's see if my man sent me his information. He did. I just got to record this or I'll forget. Creel Trevin. Did Creel Trevin win the Chaos Space Marines? Is that what happened there? One second, guys. All right. Ebalanka, thank you. We're about to do this thing. You guys ready? Okay. So we've already given away tons of shit. And now we're about to do it again. We are giving away a t-shirt, guys. First things first. This t-shirt right here, courtesy of Herodu, is being raffled off. We pre-sold our shirts. We did everything. Let's see who wins it. You guys ready? Engaged. Exclamation point shirt love. Hairdo shirt. I'm going to set the timer now. You guys have two minutes. 
two minutes to get that keyword in and win yourself a free shirt. Thanks to Hairdo. Don't forget to show him some love. He fronted the bill for you guys. Writing some shit down. Exclamation point shirt love keyword raffle right now. Hairdo the pimp. He fronted some money so you guys can get a free shirt. KG Lobbit Rotter. God, what the fuck? Globit Rotter. Thanks for the follow, brother. Get some underscores in your name, homie. All right. 70 entrants. This one was kind of low, guys. I was expecting way more uh, for a t shirt. We did almost 100 in the last one. All right, let's draw a winner. Someone's about to win a shirt right now. Rancid go piss. He did it. He said he would quit. He said he would be fucking done with everything. He said he's about to get pissed at the very least. Rancid go piss. Please hit me up with your information. Send me a whisper, your shirt size and your address. You will be getting yourself a shirt, brother, when we get them manufactured. Here in just a couple days. Pre we have met our pre sale quota, guys. We sold 40 shirts at the end of this week. AKA, um, Friday. On, fr on Friday, at the end of our stream, we will close the sales on these shirts and we will have them ordered and they will be ready to go within two weeks and everyone should be getting them in the mail in October. Hmm. It's going to get so real, guys. Jump back over there. So let's do a quick recap, guys. Nakas, there's a delay based on all sorts of latencies. Um, some people get 15 seconds. Some people get more. Yo, pick of the picked of the north, bro. That's great to hear. What a great stream. We had so many giveaways. I can't even believe this. Okay, let's do a quick recap, guys. Let's do a quick recap. This lord right here. We hit him with a gloss wash. Then we came back in and highlighted all the gold. We're going to begin highlighting all the silvers. This guy's name is Dusty Dan because all, all is dust. 
He's our Thousand Suns Chaos Lord. We use Secret Weapon New Acrylics back here on this um, fur and these pipes. We have to highlight the green still. We have to make his eyes glow a little bit. We have to get this Melta looking its absolute best. And I'm going to do that for you guys in between streams. I'm going to paint him up, do a little video on it. We're going to get his base looking fresh, okay? The next stream, I'm going to show you guys how to do that crushed glass snow ice. We're definitely going to get him on this base. We're going to have some classic, classy fucking snow on here, okay, guys? Real classy. Um, and you guys are going to get him on the 4th of October, Tuesday, top donor to giveaway. We'll walk home with this model to add to their new Chaos Warband collection. Let me tell you guys a little bit about next month's theme. You know, we just did a bunch of Chaos uh, on, on, on raffles this month. Next month, we're going to be doing Blood Angels, guys. Angels Blade in full effect. We're going to be doing top donator Angels Blade giveaways. And also, you best believe the new Gore Chosen. You know I got one coming, right? And you know I'm going to paint all four of those models. And that I'm going to give them to a top donator and the board game all in one. So, it's just going to be fresh. October is going to be real. But we got one more stream left this month. Because it fell on the last day of the month, on the 30th. So, we have a we have a nine stream month, guys. It's just going to get so real. Ryder, bro, thanks for stopping by, homie. Are you guys ready to do something? Are you guys ready to take the girth of this stream, the length and the girth? Are you ready to take it and jump into Michael Cho, the leader of Brush Lickers United? That is our stream team. Brush Lickers United, you can see the link above me. We're going to raid his ass. The way this is going to go down is I'm going to click host. Wait till you see the host come through. When you see his face on our screen at that moment... Click on to his channel, go over there, and destroy him with our emotes. Excellent. But please wait until it actually hosts him so we can have a bigger number to invade him with. Then go over there. If you stay in the chat, you won't be able to, to interact with the emotes. We're going to crush him. I want to bring all these people to him. I want to bring the entire platform. Don't leave yet. Wait to the host. Anyway, guys, I love you. You guys make this work. You make this fun for me. And I will continue to do my best for you guys. Cheers.